You know, before I make any questionable decision in my life, I like to say, bottoms up. Hey, hussies. All right, so in today's video, um, I'm not normally nervous to film, like maybe my first video, but like not typically anymore. Um, this one I'm a little nervous about, y'all. Um, so we'll go into why. Uh, but I am doing a swimsuit haul um, from Swimmoda. Um, and I'll put the, I'll put all their information down below. Um, but that's why I'm nervous because these swimsuits, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And, um, so I got eight different swimsuits. So if you want to see what I picked out and how everything fits, then stay tuned and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join the hussy gang and hit that like button. Let's get into it, y'all. All right, so I don't even remember how I found Swimmoda, but at first I was on, I think it's all Swim swim for all, whatever, dot com. And I gotta keep it 100. Those prices were ridiculous, like ridiculous um, for some of these swimsuits. And I'm like, okay, it's seasonal. It's freaking spandex. Why, are, why, are, why is it so expensive, right? Um, <laughs> so um, I think that's actually how I found it. So then I didn't end up buying anything from there. Um, cause I was like, well, let me see what like Lane Bryant has and Torrid has, and we have a Torrid one coming up as well. Um, but first Swimoda came in first, but then I think, um, like, you know how like Instagram be stalking a bitch. Yeah, that's what happened. So then I think Swimoda popped up same swimsuits. Um, well, most of the same swimsuits that are on swim for all, um, at half the price people half the price. So I was like, let me order eight, you know, because that seems reasonable. I don't know. But anyway, so that's what I am going to try on for you today. Um, so first, let's go over what I got. I got my handy dandy rolly cart. Okay, so the first one, and I got kind of a variety of things because um, I wanted to try on like some different ones, see how they fit. Are they true to size? Are they going to fit a two-year-old? You know what I mean? So... The first one is called the Blousen One Piece. Um, and I'm going to throw up a picture of also what it is looking like on the model, all photoshopped and shit. Um, but this one was $28.60. So it's got like a little keyhole here. And then this is supposed to kind of camouflage the tummy. Um, it is a one piece. And then the, the back is just like that. Um, and it's like in this like kind of black and gold, I don't know, a little confetti kind of print here. Um, and then it's got the, the halter neck. And then it has like the soft cup bra thing in here. So no, no wire or anything like that. And then next one I got is called the Bedrock Crossover Ruffle Swim Dress. Um, so you can see kind of just a little crossy over -y thingy. And then it is a swim dress and it has a little frilly on the bottom. Um, this one has removable straps and then also the soft cup um, for the brazier. Um, so no um, wire in that one either. This one is like a black and white, kind of a little speckly kind of print. Um, and then it is $27.99. On tour, that'd be like $80, that's all I'm saying. Um, okay, this one is from um, Ashley Graham, actually, so her swim line. Um, and this is kind of like got a lace-up thing going on here. And then the, I don't know what the hay is this supposed to be doing. I'm gonna have to look at the picture to figure this contraption out. Um, but it's a one piece and then um, hopefully it doesn't go up too high on the hips, but on the model, of course, looked stunning. I think it's on Ashley Graham and you know, 
that bitch does everything right. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So then next is the yin, caught on my desk drawer. Okay, yin cutout mesh underwire one piece swimsuit. So this one does have the underwire, kind of like a little um, Hawaiian-y tropical print. And then it's got like little, let me see if we can show you, kind of like this little section right here is mesh right there. So it shows a little bit of skin, but not crazy. Um, and then also the straps are removable as well. And then the back has kind of a little cut out here. And then this is the bottom part, just regular. Okay. And then, there we go. Okay. So fix my rack real quick. Uh, but the next one is called the Sparrow Loop Strap Blouse and Tankini Set. Um, this one is $27.08. So this is a two piece, but this is um, like the top part of it. And then the bottoms are just like the basic like brief. Um, and then this is, this print is kind of like a black and white kind of leaf print. And then there's like these like really like pretty coral little dots all over them to kind of give some color. So cute, cute. And then this is where I'm getting extra brave people. So this one is, let me take this part off. Um, so another two piece. Um, so this is an aqua floral underwire bikini set. It is $27.99. I think the rest of these are $27.99. So this one has the little um, top part. This does have underwire. Um, this is the back part of it. Um, the straps can, they can move here. So you can like do a crisscross. Um, I don't think it's long enough to, for you to do a halter if you wanted to, but they don't move in the front. So they're, they're stationary in the front. And then the, um, bottoms, they are a little, um, a little skirt, a little swim skirt. Um, and then it's this really cute, like aqua and floral kind of print. Okay. And then the next one is kind of the same exact style, but just in a lilac color. So this is the swim skirt, also $27.99. Um, these three, I'll go over sizes when I try them on actually. Um, these, This bra part though, I feel like my boob's gonna be sticking out like 10 kinds of crazy. We'll see, I don't know, here's hoping, fingers crossed. <laughs> fingers crossed not, that's not gonna happen, that's what I meant. Um, and then the last one here is the, oh, sorry. That other one was called the Lavender Purple Floral Cut and Sue, Sue, so bikini, S-E-W bikini. I don't know. It's weird. Um, but anyway, okay. So this one is called the Peach, Peach, if I could talk, that'd be great. Uh, so Peach Pink Leaf Strappy Flounce Wireless Bikini Set, also $27.99. So this is the top part. So it's got like this like extra fabrique here. Um, and then it's got the little crisscrossy design all the way around here. Um, again, the straps are removable on the back part so you can like do a crisscross if you want to. Crisscross applesauce. Um, and then got this really pretty like leaf pattern. And then the brief, this is the brief part and it's got kind of like a rouging on the side here. Um, and then nowhere else. Okay, just on the sides. Um, okay, so then just the brief part. Um, also $27.99. So y'all, those are, while they are great deals for um, swimsuits, especially for plus size, some of them look a little small. Um, I did try to size up in most of them just because swimwear is made of spandex. <laughs> so I was like, let me not have this skin tight and like be popping out everywhere. I don't know. So I did try to size up and even with that, just looking at like the bikini tops and stuff, um, it looks a little bit small. So this may be interesting, but we're still going to do it. Um, and you know, before I make any questionable decision in my life, I like to say bottoms up. 
And by bottoms up, I mean, I've got this little jar of Blackberry Old Smoky Moonshine that I'm gonna down. And then if that doesn't do it, we're gonna pull in the new old Orleans Cajun Spice Louisiana Spice Rum. And I'm gonna chase that with something else. So just so y'all know, liquid courage, you know? Anyway, hussy gang, let's get into it. Bottoms up. I haven't done a shot of rum in a long ass time, y'all. I usually use this for rum cake, but I'm out of vodka and tequila, which is what I normally would shoot if I'm gonna shoot something. So, you know, desperate times, we pull out the rum. So, here's to the uh, swimsuit haul that may or may not be a damn train wreck. <coughs> Oh God. Uh, oh, that's why I don't shoot rum. Woo! <laughs> okay. I'm usually a mixed drink person. I'm too old for shots, but this is, this is warranted. Okay, let's go. Okay, y'all, this is the first one. Um, I don't, I feel like in, I feel like my boobs are like kind of fall out, but they're not. Like they're in there. Like this is how, this is like the busty part, right? And then I, I mean, I'm a fan of like the swim skirts because I don't like like this part to show personally. Um, this isn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be though. So like, I'm like, okay, right? Um, this is a, this is a size 26. And then this is the, the side. Whoop, knocking hangers off. That's the back. If you see my undies sticking out, I left them on for sanitary reasons, obviously, in case I return these. I don't want my like cootie queen to be up on there, you know? Even with those little stickers, like I don't trust them. So, I mean, it's all right. Like, you know, for like a big girl in a bikini, like, <laughs> I could, I could hang. Would I actually wear this? Probably not. Um, if it had like a swim skirt, maybe, but I don't think like I wouldn't feel comfortable just walking around like this. I don't know, but you know what? For the price, if this is your style, more power to you. I feel though, like it, like the boobs are just like gone. Like there's, they're not being held up. You know what I mean? So that's one thing to consider. It is the soft wire or the soft cup, whatever. Um, whereas the other ones with wires, those are actually gonna hold you up a lot more. But it, I mean, it's comfortable. So, all right, on to the next one. Okay, so this is the lavender purple um, floral cut bikini set. Um, <laughs> this is interesting. Uh, the bra is, very small like my the rest of my boob is like hanging out over here on the side popping out over here like this is for like a i want to say like a damn near an a cup um <laughs> and it does have like a long line top on it the straps are adjustable in the back it's 27.99 and then it does have the skirt bottom which i prefer on a swimsuit that's the back and then I did get this in, um, it's a 26. Um, I decided, you know, obviously to size up since swimsuits usually run small. Um, so yeah, not a fan. This is going back, like, no. <laughs> like, this, this bra is ridiculous, <laughs> but okay. Okay, so this is the aqua floral two piece. By the way, I'm gonna definitely throw up, I'm gonna move over here. I'm gonna put the picture of what it looks like on the model here, because this is definitely supposed to be longer. It's supposed to be about here, which I probably would have felt better with. But then also, like this, like the purple one, like this bra, like halfway sticking out over here, like it should be more like that. Um, bra, like half my boobs hanging out underneath here. It is not the business. <laughs> 
Um, $27.99. So if you have smaller girls, I would say maybe go for it. You know? Push the back. The side. Up here. And then back to the front. All right, this one's also a 26. Um, $27.99 as well. I love the print. I love the color. Um, I wish either the, the skirt came up a bit higher or the shirt um, or the bra part came down a little bit more. I personally don't. I, this is not me. I'm not running around with my jelly roll hanging out <laughs> in swimwear. That's just, I'm not going to do it. I know some people do, but uh -uh, I can't. Okay, hussy gang. This, this thing is a monstrosity. So the boob part, like the soft cups, are like chameleons. Like their eyes, they're like going this way, right? Out, like way over here. Like the it starts here and ends over in my armpit, damn near. My boobs are here. <laughs> I don't know what the Sam Hill's going on, but it's anarchy and I don't know. But anyway, so the rest of this swimsuit, like it has like this like black band at the end here and it's supposed to like, this part's supposed to like kind of float away from the body. As you can see, it does not, it just hugs and all. And then the back, I think it's, I think it's, you can crisscross it or whatever. The briefs are, I mean, they're just like basic briefs. They are not high-waisted, so they come, like, below my belly button. They're so, like, so there's some low-rise business, which, I mean, if this stays down, then fine. Um, but this is a train wreck. Like, I love the print of it. Super cute. But it looks like I have four boobs, and it looks like my boobs are like, Mwah! like, Moses split the seas. <laughs> oh, God, this is awful. Okay, I need another shot, I think. Uh, so... This is 2708. If anybody's interested and maybe your boobs happen to go that way, it would be perfect. All right, let, that's it. And with that travesty, we're going to bring out old Smokey because this so far, oh, she a train wreck. We're going to do, we're going to do about half the shot here because this is moonshine and I'm a lightweight now these days. Oh God, this smells nasty. Okay. Let's bottoms up. Oh, it's actually not that bad. We'll save that other half a shot in case this gets worse. How about that? And the hits just keep on coming, y'all. <laughs> what are my boobs down to my knees? Oh, fuck. Anyway, this one. Okay, so this one. While somewhat seemed a little bit more promising, it is like made for short torso people. Like this needs to be up another like two inches. It won't come up any further. Um, this part I need like honey boo boo to even try to like do it in the back. So it's supposed to be like that, um, which still doesn't help the front. <laughs> So, I don't know. This is a mess. Um, this is called the Yin Cutout Mesh Underwire One Piece Swimsuit. $26.18. If you're shorter, this would probably work. But if you have a long torso, no. They think your boobs are like three inches lower than they are. And, and that's that. I do like the, like the rouging here. Kind of, whoops, kind of camouflages things. Uh, my boobs are actually like down here because this isn't like supporting. Uh, maybe if I could get the back to hook, I don't know, but it also doesn't come up enough. I need, where's old whiskey or whatever it's called, old smoky. Like we're going to be, I'm going to be hammered by the end of this fucking video. We're doing it. Bottoms up, hussies. Bottoms up. Oh, that one was nasty. All right, on to the next one. Fingers crossed, they're not like this. 
this is a fucking nightmare, y'all. My boobs, <laughs> this does not support any boobs. It actually smashes them down. The cups again are like over here. Um, this part, this is not long enough at all. Like this should be a solid like four or five inches longer. And if I pull it up, it's like then my, like <laughs> I have my underwear on. So this part would be hanging out the bottom if we get it up where this should be. It still doesn't support your boobs. Um, this part is supposed to be like, like drapey and like kind of hide some stuff. It doesn't because you have to stretch it up to like where it should be. <sighs> this back part is a freaking disaster. Like way the hell down here. This is like a shit show, y'all. <laughs> a shit show. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go try on the other one. Wait, I got two more. And I'm sure there'll be train wrecks too, just given how this whole video has gone. But you know what? Now you know. And uh, yeah, if you like your boobs down to your knees, maybe get this swimsuit. Because that's what it does. All right. So we're going to try on the next one here. And I was right. It gets worse. This looks like a backwards thong. Um, Like, what the fuck? People... Like the, the thing down the middle, whatever, but like half my like side boobs hanging out. This is awful. Oh my God. This is, this is like borderline. I feel like almost the worst one. <sighs> Looks like I have it on backwards. Like what is this? Like why is there no fabric right here? And then like tits down to your knees. Like where, where'd they go? Where'd they go? <laughs> you know, it's $26.42 $26 .42 of trash. Um, and on Swim For All, it was twice that. It was like 50 fucking $5. And you know what, people? Maybe do I have it? I have it too cinched, maybe? Is this supposed to go over here? I don't know. Is this supposed to go? Oh, well, maybe it's supposed to be like that. Maybe it's, okay, that would make more sense at least. Okay, maybe <laughs> I had it too cinched in there. Um, but still, you're like one false move and the, the girls are flying out. I don't know, this isn't cute. Very, I feel like it's also very short. Again, it is not like, I feel like it should be like over here, like up here. This still looks wonky. And what is this? What size is this? 24 or some shit? I don't know right now. But, and then if you try to hike it up, then it hikes up right here. And I'm like, no. Um, so there's that. So this is, again, striking out today. This is not the business. Next. All right, last one, y'all, and it's a train wreck as well. <laughs> uh, so this is the Bedrock Crossover Ruffle Swim Dress for $27.99. You can see it damn near looks painted on. I think it's a 24. Um, also very short, again. So when you try to pull it up um, to get it to even cover the boobs, it's putting so much pressure on your shoulders. It's ridiculous. Um, also, the bra cups. Again, we have chameleon tits. Uh, so, uh, my boob is here. The cup's over here in my damn near armpit. I don't know what the hay is going on, but these swim people need to get it together because this is not it. Okay, do not recommend at all. Every single one of these were a fail. Um, like they were so bad. Um, like I thought the one pieces would be actually better than the, um, two piece bikinis. No, those were the best ones. Okay. The one pieces are a train wreck and that's it. 
Oh God. So I'm back with my final um, thoughts, tipsy thoughts, I think, because I definitely had to drink some things during that try on. Thank God Jesus made alcohol or God made alcohol or man made alcohol. Who cares made alcohol? But thank God it's made. Okay. <laughs> Y'all, that was a train wreck. Okay. And this makes me realize, or maybe, I mean, I guess I knew it all along, but like, this is why I don't ever venture out to other brands with swimwear specifically, other than Lane Bryant and Torrid. Because all these other brands have no idea how to make plus size swimwear. And I have plus size swimwear that obviously I got from Lane Bryant. Um, and I've tried some on from Torrid too. Um, again, that haul is coming and I'm sure <laughs> that it will be better than this. Um, you know, the two piece sets while the bras didn't even fit at all, were the best out of everything. Um, God, it was bad. <laughs> and I'm not even editing this yet. But anyway, so yeah, like um, maybe if you're like a skinny mini, maybe this will work for you. I don't know. But when it comes to plus size, like I think these people need to go back, these brands need to go back to the drawing board and start over and get some real feedback on how swim fits plus size women uh, because this isn't it, okay? It's not it. Um, yeah, so I'm a little, I'm pissed. Like I am like beyond irritated with the fact that eight swimsuits, not one fit properly, not one. So, Swimoda, I know you don't make these actual swimsuits, but these swimsuit brands who do, y'all need to figure it out. Like, have some focus groups, sit down with some fat girls. I will volunteer and I will tell you how to make a damn swimsuit because y'all suck. You suck. That's all I'm saying. Any who's it. Comment down below what you thought, if you liked any of them, if you've tried on swim recently, um, and how did that go? And hopefully it went better than what just happened here on this here video, because that was a train wreck. <laughs> train wreck. Um, yeah, so I'm going to stick with my uh, Lane Bryant properly fitting uh, swimsuit. <laughs> for this year as well, unless Torrid can come through. Um, and if anyone can, Torrid probably can. So yeah, that was an adventure and not a fun one, but you know what is what it is. So see you guys later. And again, we'll be back with a Torrid one, hopefully soon. That works out better. All right, bye guys.